Welcome back, my faithful Legionnaires, to another episode of GTA 5 Mod Reviews slash Showcases. Now, first of all, I'd like to say thank you for your new subscribers. We are up to 105. We're going strong. Now, if you haven't done so already, head down to that like and subscribe button as it really does help us out. It is literally one small click for you. It doesn't really all mean too much, but for us here, it means absolutely a lot. So, without further ado, we'll hop into our Faithfulness and Titan and head over to today's mod. Now, today's mod is an absolutely awesome one. I did try to get a skin to wear to go with it to make it look even more cool, but my skills with trying to mod that part is not that great at the moment. I tried to get an ODST in, but it just did not work. Now, as you can tell, run over that. We are looking at none other than the Halo Pelican, the UNSC Pelican itself. Now, first impressions, an absolutely stunning, stunning machine. It handles brilliantly. Uh, and we will give you a good look-see of it as always. So we'll head over to the front here. Boop, into our camera mode. Now, the functionality. It has your standard weapon system. Now, my only gripe about the weapon system is it does work, but the machine gun cannon, I believe, should come from under here. I think uh, it's been a while since I've had a, although this could be a different model, but they come from here, which is pretty damn cool. And missile systems, uh, they both work as well. I was able to get it to um, work, but the only problem is, as soon as I start recording, kaput. Nothing wants to work. Next thing. I believe there could be some little lights somewhere on the front here, so that way you can turn them on and make it look all nice and flashy. Same with the little um, little parts of the wings up there, some like the red and blue lights or whatever they are, to make it like, you know, earth, earth vehicle. Um, and maybe a little bigger, maybe just a little bit, but that's just me being nitpicky. And the final little nitpicky part is the colour. It is the right kind of green, I think, but it just looks too bright and clean. It needs to be a little bit more nitty-gritty and dirty. Another just a little cosmetic thing that would be cool is if those were vents, they would look really cool as vents. They're probably not accurate, but that's just me being nitpicky. Now, cockpit, here we go. This is the cockpit. It is fully usable. Um, but it is a bit hard to get into. It's a bit of a glitch kind of thing, but apparently you've got to punch it or something, punch the pelican to get in it um, for it to actually get you in or something like that. I haven't tried it yet trying to get in, so we will be doing that together. Usually I've just spawned in and then, yeah, jumped out and haven't gotten back in yet. Next thing, whoop, we have a nice, um, what do we call it, cargo bay? I mean, or troop transport area. I mean, you could transport cargo or troops here. It's very cool as well. Um, unfortunately, not yet, but it, um, the modder is working on it, of getting the back door working like how it should in the game. Now, it does have a nice complement of seats and health packs for when I crash, so everyone is safe and sound. Now, next thing about functionality. These are functional. Uh, little jet boosters and um, both of them work um, with uh, that one being the primary one that one being the secondary one where you have to add a script into it so if you already know about modding you know that it where to put that in your game now mine is glitchy it doesn't want to always work so bear that in mind um, my only other gripe as well these aren't movable so like in Halo I'm pretty sure those wings can move but it has a nice little engine function, which I absolutely love. Now, I think that's about it for um, the looks and functionality of just the basic model. Now, the actual flying around part is absolutely fun as well. This thing goes like a bat out of hell. So what we will do now is literally punch in and try to fly it. I, I really, really wish that I was able to get the ODST to work. So, no, punching doesn't seem to work. Maybe I might try it from the back door. Try and punch my way in. Now, like I said, you can't actually get up, up into this too, but you gotta do a jump. But eventually, maybe that will work. So let's come over here. Be 
Yeah, no, it looks like we might just have to spawn in another one. That is A-OK. -okay. At least it's not a fire drop off the back there. Um, we'll try it from the side. Yeah, no. All right, so what we'll do, a spawn in another one. So we'll be right back. Um, semester later. And there we have it, Legionnaires. Next to the original one, we are in the brand spanking new one. So let's take to the sky. Now we'll do a vertical takeoff because it seems like something that Halo would do. Now, like I said, this thing goes extremely well. I'm absolutely in love with it. I've been wanting more Halo stuff for a while as well. So hopefully we might get even more. So like a Banshee or um, the Saber Fighter from Reach. I think, I think it was a Saber. Um, do correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Um, and then, you know, uh, maybe even a ghost, that would be pretty damn cool. Or a scorpion tank. Or even have the USC, UNSC Infinity. I mean, what, probably it wouldn't be to scale because, you know, that thing is absolutely huge. Or even um, a frigate, one of their frigates. Or even the Forward Under Dawn. I mean, there's just so many possibilities when it comes to Halo. Now, without further ado, let's is retract the gear. There we go. See? Nice and functional. And then, finally... There we go. Now, like I said, it's glitchy on mine, but both the afterburners work. And then we also got some nice little flap motions there, which is really cool. And she does, like I said, she goes, she's very fast. So, even faster than I thought um, actual Halo ships were. So, oh, I think what we'll do is put it into our theater mode. Woo! That looks weird. Um, and have a good fly around. So Legionnaires, sit back and enjoy. And just like that, both the afterburners are currently working again. Like I said, it's a bit glitchy on mine for some apparent reason. It could just be that my rig is shit. I'm, I'm drawing it down to that. So let's go for a nice nose dive. Let's go. Woohoo! But yes, like I said, she moves like an absolute bat out of hell. And I couldn't, I couldn't, I didn't even know that um, the Halo ships moved this fast. Now, bear in mind, like I said, I'm not too sure if this is to scale as well. It could, it might be a little bit smaller, or it could be just on point. Um, I like Halo, but I'm not reading into it all that much. If it was like, say, Serenity, then I would be like an absolutely nitty gritty little shit of the ship. Alrighty, here we go. We're going to attempt our awesome, awesome landings. So sit back and enjoy. Get a bit more speed up on there. Now bear in mind it is a bit glitchy. I don't know why it was working just fine before. Yeah, that's right. Landing gear, landing gear, come on. No, I don't think we're going to make it on this pass. I'm going to have to come around. That's alright. Gives us a little bit more flying time. I don't mind actually because... This, pl this pelican is absolutely awesome to fly, so I don't mind flying it around a little bit longer. It will definitely stay in my GTA. Um, unfortunately, though, with most of my, the mods that I do, I have to take out of my game for other mods or just the game to run in general. At the moment, actually playing the game is a bit hard. For some reason, I've got a grapple gun that fires and glitches out the game. It's really annoying, actually. I don't know how to get rid of it. If you have any ideas of how to get rid of this fucking grapple hook so I can play the game, please leave it in the comments section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Alrighty. Oh, shit. 
There we go. Uh, ow. Uh, it's lucky we got those health packs. Sorry, Kevin. I do apologize for that. <laughs> Let's land where we were originally meant to go. Oh. Oh, that poor bird. There we go. Landed. Safe and sound on the ground. Hitting and killing a bird. Um, yeah. I didn't expect that to happen. Oh, you can piss right off, buddy. No. Really? Asshole. Alright. I suppose it is his, technically, it's his runway. There we go. Safe and sound on the ground, Legionnaires. We will punch out of the Pelican and close out the episode. And there we have it, Legionnaires. On the ground, safe and sound, with only minor bumping uh, to our landing. Mainly that bird was my biggest concern. So if you enjoyed this episode, Legionnaires, wait, I forgot. I give this pelican a 10 out of 10. Well, actually, maybe we'll make it a 9 out of 10, just for those little nitty-gritty parts. But I don't think they really need touching up. It's just me being a nitty-gritty git, which, you know, we can be. We're allowed to be. I'm a reviewer. I'm not a YouTuber. We can do that. <laughs> So Legionnaires, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to hit down that like and subscribe button. And if you want this pelican in your game, there will be a link in the description as per usual. So Legionnaires, thank you for your support and I hope to see you in the next one.